Hello, today is Wednesday, the 3rd of April. Next week, uh, Congress goes back into session. And first of all, my name's Duncan Nichols. I'm with the Upper Val Valley. Uh, well, actually, I'm with a lot of different groups today. But we are Protect Palestinian Children. And next week, the Congress goes back in session. They will be voting on a bill 815, H.R. 815, which bill um, includes various um, billions of dollars for countries Taiwan, um, Ukraine, Israel, and money for the border wall. Um, uh, it's keeping our representative, I would say, uh, very um, flexible up and down, voting yes for some things and no for others. Uh, apparently, when we talked to the uh, the director of the uh, Becca Balance office here in Vermont Operations this morning, uh, David Schur, he said that Becca Ballant has to study the bill. Well, what happens with, with, with politicians and with representatives in Congress, particularly young ones, is they, do, they don't necessarily have a position and they have to read every line item, um, but so many items are in, so many, so much funding for uh, military operations are in this bill for so many different issues and countries that in a way it's, um, it's, it's a kind of a, a magic trick that the corporations pull on us. Uh, the, it's a sleight of hand so the politicians have to vote yes or they have to abstain or they have to uh, wheedle their way in and out of being uh, a politically, um, uh, what's the word? necessary uh, so they'll be re-elected. Well, we told uh, the operations manager here, David Schur, that we were very firm on our demand uh, that um, if Becca Ballant votes for this bill, which includes $14 billion for Israel, uh, we, will, we will be working to get her not elected next, uh, next season. Um, as, as the Muslim vo electorate did in many states in um, the U.S. Uh, for these recent elections, the undecided votes for Biden. So um, there's, there's a lot of organizing here. There's a lot of people doing solidarity work with the people in Palestine. Um, we are not Jewish and we're necessarily, we're not a Jewish group, we're not a Palestinian group. We are just taxpayers, and we don't like the way all these uh, bills are being slipped in and out of Congress to, to take our money. This one's for $91 billion, um, and um, there's so many of these bills. It's, it's, I'm thinking of a metaphor, um, uh, an umbrella, really, or a, it's really the, a phenomenon, a natural phenomenon of the corporations. Uh, and the weapons manufacturers, as they slip these bills in, they pay off, they do the revolving door, and, and, uh, and we have to go um, chasing our representatives to get them to vote properly so that taxpayers don't have to fund these horrible wars where, in this case, in is uh, Israel is killing civilians by, the, their army is killing civilians in an unprecedented way in, in the last 20 years, even Iraq. Uh, was uh, as awful as it was, was not as um, overtly uh, cruel as this one where they're bombing civilian infrastructure. So where are you today and what are you doing here? Uh, where are we today, politically or in... Oh, sorry. Well, uh, we're in front of Becca Balance office on 159 Bank Street off of Church Street in Burlington. And um, we're going to be here for the next three days. Tomorrow at 4 o'clock, rain or snow, we will be setting up our tents. And we will be showing them that we're here to really pressure them to resist uh, this war spending. And uh, we're, we're demanding a statement from, from Becca Ballant uh, for, to, to, to swear off military aid to Israel, finally. The question is, um, to the TV camera, the question to me is, how's the movement, I would say the solidarity movement, doing in Burlington? Well, Burlington's been a tough place. Um, uh, what, what's happened in Burlington is that different sides of the issue, Jews and Palestinians and Arabs, 
have um, uh, you know been involved in what seems like a religious and and cultural issue but really I'm here about the taxes that we pay for these wars ever since Afghanistan we started to get involved in three different wars um, and I think the movement here uh, in Burlington the ones that are are, are really what I would call um, collective liberation people and justice people are seeing that when we pay these taxes it gets taken out of the most basic services um, and so that's basically all I have to say is that we're all coming together thank you